A farm is an area of land that is devoted primarily to agricultural processes or an area of water that is devoted primarily to aquicultural processes, in order to produce and manage such commodities as fibers, grains, livestock, dairy, or fuel. It is the basic production facility in food production. A farm may be owned and operated by a single individual, family, community, corporation or a company, may produce one or many types of produce, and can be a holding of any size from a fraction of a hectare to several thousand hectares. Etymology the word in the sense of an agricultural land holding derives from the verb to farm, a revenue source, whether taxes, customs, rents of a group of manors or simply to hold an individual manor by the feudal land tenure of fee farm. The word is from the medieval Latin noun firma, also the source of the French word firm, meaning a fixed agreement, contract. From the classical Latin adjective firmus meaning strong, stout, firm. As in the medieval age virtually all manners were engaged in the business of agriculture, which was their principal revenue source. So to hold a manor by the tenure of fee farm became synonymous with the practice of agriculture itself. History Farming has been innovated at multiple different points and places in human history. The transition from hunter-gatherer to settled agricultural societies is called the Neolithic Revolution and first began around 12,000 years ago. Near the beginning of the geological epoch of the Holocene around 12,000 years ago, it was the world's first historically verifiable revolution in agriculture. Subsequent step changes in human farming practices were provoked by the British Agricultural Revolution in the 18th century and the Green Revolution of the second half of the 20th century. Types of farm A farm may operate under a monoculture system or with a variety of cereal or arable crops, which may be separate from or combined with raising livestock. Specialist farms are often denoted as such, thus a dairy farm, fish farm, poultry farm or mink farm. Some farms may not use the word at all, hence vineyard, orchard, market garden or truck farm. Some farms may be denoted by their topographical location, such as a hill farm, while large estates growing cash crops such as cotton or coffee may be called plantations. Many other terms are used to describe farms to denote their methods of production, as in collective, corporate, intensive, organic or vertical. Other farms may primarily exist for research or education, such as an ant farm, and since farming is synonymous with mass production, the word farm may be used to describe wind power generation or puppy farm. Specialized farms Dairy farm Dairy farming is a class of agriculture where female cattle, goats, or other mammals are raised for their milk, which may be either processed on site or transported to a dairy for processing and eventual retail sale. In most Western countries, a centralized dairy facility processes milk and dairy products, such as cream, butter, and cheese. In the United States, these dairies are usually local companies. While in the Southern Hemisphere facilities may be run by very large nationwide or transnational corporations, dairy farms generally sell male calves for veal meat, as dairy breeds are not normally satisfactory for commercial beef production. Many dairy farms also grow their own feed, typically including corn, alfalfa, and hay. This is fed directly to the cows, or stored as silage for use during the winter season. Additional dietary supplements are added to the feed to improve milk production. Poultry farm Poultry farms are devoted to raising chickens, turkeys, ducks, and other fowl, generally for meat or eggs. Prison farm Prison farms are farms which serve as prisons for people sentenced to hard labor by a court. On prison farms inmates run the important tasks of a farm and producing crops. Ownership Farm control and ownership has traditionally been a key indicator of status and power, especially in medieval European agrarian societies. The distribution of farm ownership has historically been closely linked to form of government. 
Medieval feudalism was essentially a system that centralized control of farmland, control of farm labor and political power, while the early American democracy, in which land ownership was a prerequisite for voting rights, was built on relatively easy paths to individual farm ownership. However, the gradual modernization and mechanization of farming, which greatly increases both the efficiency and capital requirements of farming, has led to increasingly large farms. This has usually been accompanied by the decoupling of political power from farm ownership. Forms of ownership in some societies, collective farming is the norm, with either government ownership of the land or common ownership by a local group, especially in societies without widespread industrialized farming. Tenant farming and sharecropping are common. Farmers either pay landowners for the right to use farmland or give up a portion of the crops. Farms around the world. America's the land and buildings of a farm are called the farmstead. Enterprises where livestock are raised on range land are called ranches. Where livestock are raised in confinement on feed produced elsewhere, the term feedlot is usually used. In 1910 there were 6,406,000 farms and 10,174,000 family workers. In 2000 there were only 2,172,000 farms and 2,062,300 family workers. The share of U.S. Farms operated by women has risen steadily over recent decades, from 5% in 1978 to 14% by 2007. In the United States, there are over 3 million migrant and seasonal farm workers, 72% are foreign-born, 78% are male. They have an average age of 36 and average education of 8 years. Farm workers make an average hourly rate of $9 minus 10 per hour, compared to an average of over $18 per hour for non-farm labor. Their average family income is under $20,000 and 23% live in families with incomes below the federal poverty level. One half of all farm worker families earn less than $10,000 per year, which is significantly below the 2005 U.S poverty level of $19,874 for a family of four. In 2007, corn acres are expected to increase by 15% because of the high demand for ethanol, both in and outside of the U.S. Producers are expecting to plant 90.5 million acres of corn, making it the largest corn crop since 1944. Asia Pakistan according to the World Bank. Most empirical evidence indicates that land productivity on large farms in Pakistan is lower than that of small farms. Farms. Holding other factors constant, small farmers have higher net returns per hectare than large farms, according to farm household income data. Australia farming is a significant economic sector in Australia. A farm is an area of land used for primary production which will include buildings, according to the UN. Green agriculture directs a greater share of total farming input expenditures towards the purchase of locally sourced inputs and a local multiplier. Effect is expected to kick in. Overall, green farming practices tend to require more labor inputs than conventional farming, creating jobs in rural areas and a higher return on labor inputs where most of the income is from some other employment. And the farm is really an expanded residence. The term hobby farm is common. This will allow sufficient size for recreational use but be very unlikely to produce sufficient income to be self-sustaining. Hobby farms are commonly around 2 hectares but may be much larger depending upon land prices. Often very small farms used for intensive primary production are referred to by the specialization they are being used for, such as a dairy rather than a dairy farm, a piggery, a market garden, etc. This also applies to feedlots, which are specifically developed to a single purpose and are often not able to be used for more general purpose farming practices. 
In remote areas farms can become quite large. As with our states in England, there is no defined size or method of operation at which a large farm becomes a station. Europe in the UK, farm as an agricultural unit, always denotes the area of pasture and other fields together with its farmhouse, farmyard and outbuildings. Large farms or groups of farms under the same ownership may be called an estate. Conversely, a small farm surrounding the owner's dwelling is called a small holding and is generally focused on self-sufficiency with only the surplus being sold. Farm equipment Farm equipment has evolved over the centuries from simple hand tools such as the hoe, through ox or horse-drawn equipment such as the plough and harrow, to the modern highly technical machinery such as the tractor. Baylor and Combine Harvest are replacing what was a highly labor-intensive occupation before the Industrial Revolution. Today much of the farm equipment used on both small and large farms is automated, as new types of high-tech farm equipment have become inaccessible to farmers that historically fixed their own equipment. Wired reports there is a growing backlash due mostly to companies using intellectual property law to prevent farmers from having the legal right to fix their equipment. This has encouraged groups such as Open Source Ecology and FarmHack to begin to make open source hardware for agricultural machinery. In addition on a smaller scale FarmBot and the RepRap open source 3D printer community has begun to make open source farm tools available of increasing levels of sophistication. Bibliography Adams, Jane H. The Decoupling of Farm and Household Differential Consequences of Capitalist Development on Southern Illinois and Third World Family Farms Comparative Studies in Society and History 30 453-482, DOI, 10.1017, SO 0104175000015334, Blackborn, David, The Long Nineteenth Century, A History of Germany, 1780-1918, New York, Oxford University Press, Clark, Christopher, Iron Kingdom, the Rise and Downfall of Prussia, 1600-1947, Cambridge, Massachusetts, The Belknap Press of Harvard University Press, Gregor, Howard F., Farm Structure in Regional Comparison, California and New Jersey Vegetable Farms, Economic Geography 45, 209-225, DOI, 10.2307, 143,091, JSTOR 143,091, Grigg, David, The Geography of Farm Size A Preliminary Survey, Economic Geography 42. 205 to 235 DOI 10.2307 142007 JSTOR 142007 Schmidt Elizabeth Peasants Traders and Wives Show No Women in the History of Zimbabwe 1870 to 1939 Portsmouth New Hampshire Heinemann